How's it going everyone? It's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kuat Piston SR on our 2022 Toyota RAV4. This is going to be a premium option for if you want to get a bike up to 67 pounds where you need it to go, but you don't have a hitch or maybe you're towing something already. This is going to hold on our bike by dual wheel mount using two arms on either side that we can activate with these piston arms. There's no straps needed. Everything is done right there. Doesn't make any frame contact with our bike, which is nice, because in the event that we do have a carbon frame bike, it could damage it if it makes contact with the frame, so the fact that it holds onto the tires is a good feature. The rack itself is an all metal construction. The hardware is using a stainless steel coated finish. Additionally, this black powder coat and the Kashima coating on the struts are both gonna help this rack hold up to the elements, and it's just a really well-built rack in general. So anytime you're going to be adding something to your crossbars on your roof, you might want to be a little bit curious to see how much length it's going to add and can I get into the hatch while I'm doing it. With our bike rack on, we found that we have plenty of space to open our hatch and get into the back, but I'll take a measurement just to show you exactly how much we're getting. From the closest point to the rack itself is about 15 and a half inches, closer to 13 with the actual bike on here but that's gonna vary depending on the size of the bike that you have on. In our case, it's plenty of room and nothing I would be concerned about. In the front of the rack here, you can see the integrated cable lock, stores on the bike rack, you can feed it through, and ultimately it will connect to this lock core in the middle so you can get it around the frame of the bike and a tire to keep it secure. To remove the bike is straightforward, but from down here, it can be a little bit tricky. Loading the bike up is also pretty difficult to get leverage on the arms, but what you'll do is you'll basically hold on to the frame of the bike and release the arms one at a time, and then you can lift the bike up and off. There's no straps or anything to get in the way, just the two arms. Now that the bike is removed, we can take a closer look at the rack itself. Out of the box, it is capable of holding a bike with a tire width of up to five inches and a wheelbase of up to 53 inches. That being said, if you're getting a bike that big or that wide or heavy on top of the RAV4, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get on and off. As we come to close down these hoops on the end, you'll see that these adjustable chocks on the side, all you do is you pinch at the top here and you can slide it down to adjust where you need to be. It's gonna accommodate most of your common tire sizes including down at the bottom, you can see here if you have fenders, it'll work with those too. You fold it down completely and they clip on so in the event that somehow one of these gets pushed, it won't snap up on you. So it is also a little tricky to get leverage on them if you're not tall. I'm about 6'1 myself for a guide and I have a little bit of difficulty getting the leverage I need to get it down. But as you can see when it is folded down, it does condense itself quite a bit and it gives you a more aerodynamic shape, as well as being a little bit sleeker looking. Getting the bike rack onto our crossbars was honestly a little bit difficult. It does include a security Allen key to fit into these bolts at the bottom, but having access to turn them and get clearance from the roof can definitely be a little bit tricky. That being said, once it's on, it is secure. It's working with our factory crossbars here, but. It'll fit obviously pretty well on most aero or elliptical style bars, but it'll work with your round and square crossbars as well. When installing anything on the roof of your car, especially if it's gonna have a bike on it, it's important to consider how much height you're gonna be adding. So in our case, from the top of our crossbars to where the bike's gonna sit in the cradle, comes in at about an inch and three quarters. So however tall your bike is, add that to it and just see how much room you're gonna to add to the top of your vehicle. With it condensed down, if you're not gonna have the bike in it, it comes in at about three and three quarters inches. So that's how much height it's gonna be adding to the top of that. As far as clearance goes, most times if you have a bike on there, probably not gonna be able to fit in your garage, but it's nice to know how much height you're gonna be adding. The way that we get the actual rack on the crossbars is pretty slim, and we can store it pretty far over here on our crossbars, which gives us a ton of room on the other side if we wanna mount some other accessories up here. Additionally, some of the other racks that we've tested cover up a lot of our sunroof, this one being this far over. Gives us a pretty good view out of the sunroof as well. Overall, the Kuat Piston SR is definitely a premium option. The build quality 
and the pistons themselves are obviously very high quality, but getting the bike on and off on our RAV4 is a challenge. Getting the leverage on each hoop to get them tight enough to secure our bike is a challenge and getting the bike on and off is tough. But if you want to compare it to something that might have a little bit less weight capacity, tire width and wheelbase, check out the NO tire hold. It's going to get the job done. It's going to also hold on with a dual wheel mount style. So it's not going to make frame contact as well. But if you're looking for that really high end option, Kuat Piston SR on our 2022 RAV4 might be a great option for you.